There was once a very honest old street lamp that had done its work faithfully for many, many years. But surely, Councillor, there must be something we can do. I'm sorry, Mr. Night Watchman. The Council was unanimous. Oh! Oh. Oh, uh, look, come along to the council chamber tomorrow. Maybe the mayor will let you keep it, instead of sending it away to be melted down. Oh, thank you, councillor. Thank you. No promises, mind. Mr. Night Watchman, madam. Sun's going down, dear. Better light the lamp so it can do its final night's work. Oh. Well, my faithful old friend, I'm afraid it's official. You're to be taken down and inspected by the mayor tomorrow. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. It's not looking good. No, oh, they want to replace all you old-style oil lamps with these here new-fangled gas lights. So, as of tomorrow, we're both to be pensioned off. But I'll try my best not to let them melt you down, I promise. Anyway, I'll see you in the morning, eh? Well, dear, how did he take huh? it? Hard to say. Uh, these older makes of street lamp don't give much away. Oh. Ah. Ooh. 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 off. Melt me down. All these years of devoted service, and this is how the council rewards me. That's people for you. Take, take, take. Then they throw you away for the cats to do what they like with. <gasps> so here I am. You should try being a rotten old bit of driftwood like me. Er, uh, no thanks. At the mercy of the ocean waves half your life, then a plaything for naughty children to throw around. Ahem, <clears throat> well, anyway, as I was saying... Till you get stuck somewhere like this, I tell you, you've no idea how boring being a piece of wood can be. Uh, yes, well, if it's any more boring than being stuck next to a piece of wood, then you're right. I don't envy you at all. Thank you. Uh, hey! So, street lamp. You're for the furnace, eh? Maybe. Oh, won't know for sure till tomorrow. Oh, that's terrible. Isn't that terrible? So, uh, <clears throat> I'm shiny. I glow in the dark. Can I have your job when you're gone? Can I, eh? Hey, hey! Herringhead, have you no heart? Uh, well, what do you think? This poor old street lamp may be melted down for scrap tomorrow, and all you can think of is whether oh. you can oh. have his job. 
When it's plain to see, I'm a much better candidate. Look, for the sea algae I'm covered with makes me glow much brighter than you. Hold it right there, gentlemen. Who? Huh? Who are you? I am a glow worm. See? <gasps> oh. oh, I I see. And where did you spring from, Miss Glowworm? Hey, I'm a worm. I keep my ear to the ground. And the word on the street was, there's a lighting job going. So what can I tell you? I wheeled up the drain pipe. Whew. Well, the job's taken, OK? Hmm? Uh, yes. So you can wiggle right back down again. Look, I don't stink of fish. I'm not boring and rotten. And I glow twice as brightly as either of you two. So, if anyone's going to get this job, it's me. Oh? Uh, oh yeah? Yeah! Oh, Herringhead Glowworm. Perhaps we should let the lamp decide. Oh, it is his job we're talking about, after all. Yes, let the lamp decide. Uh, as long as he chooses me. I'm really sorry, everyone, but I honestly don't think any of you give off enough light to be a street lamp. What would you know? You're so good at your job, they're throwing you on the scrap heap tomorrow. And anyway, I'll bet the job's not even his to give away. Right, I'm off. Hey, where are you going? Well, it just occurred to me, you're a fish head and you're <laughs> a piece of wood. Uh, uh, yes. yes. Which means neither of you can climb drain pipes or lamp posts. So, if I set off now, the job will be mine by tomorrow night. And there's nothing you can do about it. Hey! That's not fair! After her! Stop her! <laughs> Hello, street lamp. Oh, Miss Wind. You looked as though you could do with a little peace and quiet there. Oh, phew. Yes, I must confess, they were beginning to get on my wick. I heard you might be leaving us tomorrow. Yes, there's a chance I might even be melted down. Don't be afraid, street lamp. It's only change. Everything old gets turned into something new eventually. I'm only afraid I may forget all about my life here. All the fine carriages and passers-by I've lit the way for, and the kind old watchman and his wife. Hmm. Then I shall give you a leaving present, street lamp. There. Oh. Now you will never forget anything that you see or hear, no matter what form you may take in the future. Oh. Thank you, Miss Wind. Now I won't be afraid, whatever tomorrow may bring. Oh, my head. Oh, what happened? I'm never climbing drain pipes again. What, what's happening? Uh, Where am I? Uh, Thanks. Oh, it's you. Huh. Huh? Wow, did you see that? It was a falling star. I'm sure of it. Well... If the stars themselves are falling out of the sky to apply for the street lamp's job, then what chance have we got? I'm off. Oh. Me too. Alle up. Oh. Drat, I forgot. I'm a fish head. Ho oh, hum. Maybe some cat will come along and carry me somewhere interesting. Oh. What's happening? Oh. I don't understand. Well, well. You're the luckiest old street lamp I ever met, and no mistake. Uh, I am? The stars themselves have taken pity on you and granted you yet another magical gift. They have? Yes. Now you'll not only remember all you see and hear, but your magic light will beam all your thoughts, ideas and memories into the heart of anyone you love. Oh, how wonderful! For I believe the only joys worth having are joys you can share. Just one thing. The stars think all light down here is made with wax candles. 
How very old-fashioned of them. So I'm afraid you'll have to wait till someone lights wax candles inside you for the magic to work. Oh, well, I hope I don't have to wait too long a time. Good luck, old street lamp. Good luck. Well, now, this has been the strangest night ever. But at least I'm no longer afraid of what tomorrow may bring. So, the next morning, the watchman took the poor old lamp to the council house to discover its fate. There. Oh! Oh! husband, how wonderful it would be to actually see a real elephant. And the old lamp was sad for the old watchman and his wife, for the falling star's magical gift meant he could picture the elephants as clearly as if they were there in front of him. Ah, we're too old. I fear the journey would be too much for us. But without wax candles inside him, the lamp couldn't show his dear friends what he could see. Never mind, dear. At least we have each other. How? Oh. And our beloved old street lamp. The old watchman was right. He and his wife never did make the journey to Africa. Oh, this useless old thing. Still, the metal may be worth something. And so, the old street lamp was eventually melted down to make something new. Just as Miss Wind had promised, he never forgot that he had once been a street lamp. There! Maybe this will help inspire me to write some new poems and stories. Nor did he forget the old watchman and his wife, who had loved him so much. Once upon a time, and because he now held a candle made of wax, the falling star's gift to the old lamp could finally begin to work its magic. All his thoughts, ideas and memories poured into the young poet's heart. Until... Hmm. Well, what do you know? Maybe there's hope for me yet. And so a gaslight now stands, where the old street lamp once stood. But he doesn't mind. He's just happy helping people like me tell stories like this. Snip, snap, snuff. Enough is enough. <laughs> ¶¶